Hi guys, I am back with new video. I am very happy my videos are helping you. I am getting a lot of responses and questions. But not getting likes on the videos. So please also like the video if you get something from it. A lot of users are facing the same issue. They want to export the created or designed page. So they can use it as they want, like hosting or deploying it. So today we will discuss a way to do that. So let's get started. Let's start our both applications. This is what we have built in our previous session. We will add one more button besides our undo and redo buttons. This button will help us to export HTML and CSS. To add a button, we have to open G Editor Utils file and add code for button in panel. Let's use download icon from font awesome. And also give command name, which will be triggered on click. Our button has been added. Now it's time to add functionality of our custom command. To do so, we are going to use editor.commands. Ensure to use same command name, which we have used in panel button. We have to override the definition of run method. Grapes.js has three methods. First get HTML method, which returns all HTML with JS code. Second get CSS method, which returns all CSS and third get JS method, which returns only JS of our page. We are going to use get HTML and get CSS method. Let create an object and console it. So let's check what we got in our console whenever we clicked on download icon. See we got our HTML and CSS. Now we have to save it, or we can add functionality, to download the content. A plugin is already created, to download the content of the page. It uses the same method which I just show you. So let's use that plugin. It has one command gjs export zip. We are going to use this. So let's first add the dependency in our application. Now, add plugin configuration in our editor. So let first import the plugin. And add it in our plugins and plugin ops. Now let's change the definition of our Export command to use gjs-export-zip Instead of creating object, and console it We are going to, trigger command provided by plugin Now, let's see a quick demo of our implementation See a zip is downloaded Let's check it Let's unzip it and see what we have. I am going to rename the folder to page. Now open this folder in any editor. I am just going to use sublime text. So this is our HTML.
Now we are one step away. We have used third-party library CSS and script. So now let all of them in our HTML file. So just copy from editor setting, and add that in HTML. Now let's see a quick demo. By this way we can export our code on frontend itself. Another solution, is to read page data, from database, and write that in HTML file. Advantage of server side is that we can export all pages in one time. That's it guys. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like the videos. Please share and subscribe to channel. Your one like and subscription help me to grow. See you in next video.